Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back to another Tongue Tied live stream. This live stream is going to be a little different. There's no specific game that we are going to play. However, uh, I do have a list in the description. We're, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going we're gonna to play the games that you want me to play. And that could be one game the entire stream. That could end up being multiple games throughout this stream. But it's the games that you want me to play. And the first game, you know, we're, we're basically going to have, you know, a vote. You know, I, I've already got one vote for High on Life. I got one vote for Hogwarts Legacy, which is awesome. Already got a couple votes in there for, for, for those two games. So whichever game gets the most votes, that's the game that we will start off with. Uh, however, we have other games that are mentioned down in the description. So if you guys would like to play, you know, that we, we can do that. However, after that... If you want to see a different game, all you have to do is send a $5 super chat or super sticker or um, send a gift membership. So, so gift a membership to, uh, you know, a, a, a subscriber or, you know, somebody of the tethered that doesn't currently already have one. So those are the three different ways that you can change the game throughout this stream. We will be doing at the very minimum. At the very minimum, we'll have 10 minutes of gameplay for each game. But that's how we're going to you know, that's how, that's how we're going to we're going to roll with the uh, with the live stream. So we're going to be playing potentially multiple different games. Um again, a minimum of at least 10 minutes and we currently already have one vote high on life, one vote Hogwarts Legacy. Bobby says any horror game we need your acting skills so any any horror game that involves acting skills uh travis voted visage however i don't think i have visage downloaded anymore travis the games that i have in the description are the games that i currently have downloaded might take some time to download visage and if i'm currently playing while it's downloaded probably wouldn't download in enough time George just says there's too many choices. <laughs> there, are, there are a few choices. There are a few. Oh, there's another game that I have in there. It's called, uh, that I didn't put in the um, description. I, I have Uno and I also have Risk, but those are kind of games that, you know, are, are more fun with multiple people rather than just playing against computers. So I didn't really put them in the list, but I have those. Didn't put them in the list, though. Azrael says, Chromancy, I need to hear your rage. That's definitely going to be something that causes me a rage. I haven't played it since I put that first video up there of Chromancy. Probably won't be fun for me. <laughs> it probably won't. It definitely won't be easy for me, that's for sure. Waylon says, Resident Evil 4. Uh, Waylon, I do not currently have Resident Evil 4 um, downloaded. So, uh, but I, I do, the games that I do have downloaded are going to be in the description down below. Travis says Devour. So we have, we have some single votes for multiple different games. We got one vote for High on Life, Hogwarts Legacy, uh, Devour, Chromancy. Have I heard about the new Transformers? Is that the Transformer movie? I've, I mean, I've, I've heard about that. I've heard about the Transformer movie. Or just says, ooh, rage quitting game. I like this. I might, if that's going to be the first game, I might just play that for 10 minutes and be done. <laughs> you won't get me playing that longer. <laughs> Damn Chromancy. I put that in the list, not expecting anyone to pick Chromancy. So I appreciate that as. <laughs> As says, there's no way I could do Devour by myself. It, it, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe playing single player Devour is easier than playing multiplayer Devour. Like, maybe the maybe the game mechanics are easier. I don't know. I've never played it. Um, I've never played it uh, by myself. Wayland says, I should play Sally Face. I don't know what Sally Face is. 
What is Sally Face? Let me look it up while we're figuring out which game to play first. Sally Face. A few different episodes for Sally Face, it looks like. You got an episode one, you got a season pass, you got Sally Face Complete Game. It's going to be Sally Face Complete Game. This. Includes five episodes of Sally Face. Uh, it, there's not really any information on this one. Sally, Sally Face apparently has a mask. Where's a mask? I okay, okay. Looks like there's a lot of lot of lot of death. <laughs> However, I do not currently have Sally Face downloaded or currently bought, so um, probably won't be something that we play tonight because it may or may not take quite some time to to download Sally Face. Georgia says escape simulator. Okay. We have a lot of single votes for a lot of different games. Is there any game that we can come to a um come to a decision on? There is one ghost in Ghost Watchers that I have not currently captured. That is the Windigo. But I saw that some of the tethered have already captured the Windigo, which is pretty cool. It looks it looks cool. Got like a humanoid body with like a head of a deer or something. <laughs> like the skull of a deer, the horns. playing i don't i don't have gotham knights downloaded unfortunately it was it was such a huge like gotham knights was such a huge game uh in terms of size that i had to i had to uninstall it just so that way i could get other <laughs> other games on on my pc Just says, I don't think I can go through Bramble the Mountain King again, though. My heart can't take it. <laughs> it was such a fun game, though, but it is. It's definitely an emotional roller coaster type game, for sure. Lemus. Lemus definitely has my heart. Lemus is an absolute champion in the end of uh, Bramble the Mountain King.
Dazrael's Gaming. Thank you so much for the for the twelve month membership. That's so awesome. As the Obsidian level of their of their tethered, couldn't wait. Hit my one year Annie with the tethered. Just so you know, the one year Annie gift is paper. So <laughs> you know what? With that being said, I, I think I'm gonna pick the first game. I remember, I remember the game that um, as or Azrael, you know, I, I I remember the game that Azrael first. It might not have been the first game that she saw me play or 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 anything, but it was the first live stream that Az was like, you know, me and Az like talk to each other and like, you know, it was like a first time that she wrote anything in 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 chat or anything. Do you remember what what game that was? I remember it. I remember. I'm just I'm wondering if you remember it. Do you remember which game that was? That's the game we're gonna start off with. I'm gonna I'm gonna load it up right now. After the uh, after the update goes through, so thirty seconds or so. What's going on, AV AV Dream? Welcome to the stream. We haven't started a game yet, but we're getting ready to. I'm get, I, I've 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 made a decision for everyone. <laughs> Nobody could come up with a with an actual choice. Everybody had single votes for multiple different games, so I made the deciding factor, and it's none of the games that any of you <laughs> voted for. And it's going and 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 in cel in celebration of Azrael's tel uh, one year an anniversary for the the tethered. I'm going to start the game up where she first joined the live stream and first started talking to me and started chatting and 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 started engaging with the content. If you don't know. You probably do already now, because as just mentioned it, it is indeed Conrad Stevenson, Paranormal PI, Private Investigator. So, that's the game that we're starting up. I don't know, I can't, I haven't played this game in so long. I don't know how many updates has gone through. I don't know how, um... I don't know if we're going to have to start at the beginning. I don't know. But we're going to start off with Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal Private Investigator. And we're going to continue. Hopefully hopefully none of my con or none of my logs, none of my saves um, none of my saves uh, disappeared or anything. Because we'll, we're, we're just going to continue right where we left off. Which, where we left off, oh, I just noticed. There's a person. In this window. Never saw that before. Um, and where we left off, at the time, we had completed all the different levels. We had completed all the achievements and everything. Um, Cello Ren says, uh, did she? No, she was a lot nicer than me back then. <laughs> she was much more, much more friendly with me back then. She did not bully me nearly as much as she does now. <laughs> Chaloren says, Orphans premiere and the nonstop car racing were my first TT tethered memories. And they're good memories. Those are those are good memories. Orphans are, are orphans, you know, streams and orphans videos are always gonna be good. The uh the nonstop car racing was fun. Um that was a uh that was a fiver gig that I did, the nonstop car racing. I, uh, I don't know why that didn't pop up sooner, as, but it, it's up there now. <laughs> it popped up there now, so that's good. Um, I do, as, I do not technically bully a you. I don't technically bully anybody. I don't bully no one. We're going to continue. I don't remember any of the controls. Oh. When you approach an object, you can interact it with the hand icon. It will appear notifying you that you are able to do so. To interact with an object, you must line the crosshairs up with the object. Once the crosshairs is glowing, press the interact button to interact with the object. What is the interact button? That's the <laughs> that's the question. It definitely looks different. You see the little belt at the bottom? It's got items, uh, slots. I should grab my equipment in the back. 
Yeah, you should. Um, I don't know what my... I don't know what my interact button is. I need is. to look at the map on the wall to get an idea of where I'm going to be investigating. Hey, I hear you. Okay. Interact apparently is F. <laughs> Doesn't tell me how to play. I I I got I, I need to find um Need to find controls. That way we can figure out how to how to play again. Audio slime? What is slime? Supernatural logistics for investigative mechanisms and equipment. Flashlight, light gear, EMF devices. Incandescent flashlight. I own it, apparently. Oh, I have to buy that with credits? I have no cre okay, so I now I need to earn credits? Apparently, I need to earn credits. Box. There's a lot. There's a lot of new stuff to this game. It's a lot of new stuff. So, without doing anything else and without figuring anything else out, how about we just start up? batteries that I can't pick up won't let me pick up batteries so our equipment is going to run out then eventually my notes time to replace the battery Trying to replace the damn batteries. It wouldn't let me pick up the batteries. Conrad. Work. Okay. Still, no reflection in the mirror. I remember that being the case previously. Didn't have any lights buzzing. Oh no, this is oh, cause I. That's right. So when we use a thermometer, if you stand near an air vent, it gets colder on the thermometer. With our EMF device, it actually interacts with electrical equipment. So if we stand too close to this Keurig type coffee maker, it messes up our EMF readings. I remember that. I should do a bit more research before starting an investigation. I have a feeling. Um, that we're going to have to start over from the beginning. I think. Maybe not. Check your inbox to see if you have received an email inviting you to the investigation. All right. Let me go check my inbox to see if I have an email inviting me to the investigation. Yes, we have some area. So, dear Conrad, my family and I moved into a dream home on Evergreen Lane about a year ago. It's an old farmhouse. Without the without the rest of the farm property, the home has been renovated many times over the years, so it has a fresh and inviting feel. Unfortunately, however, my husband and I are convinced the home is haunted. This is the most recent one, June 15, 18, 20, 24, July 11. Okay, so this is... Technically, the very first one right here. Oh. Do that. Let me back into the computer. Did I, did I just choose? There we go. I was, did I just choose the mission? A glimpse of a shadow moving out of the corner. Disembodied voices. Imaginary friend who plays with my child. That's creepy. Or imagine a friend who is a child about their age. Yikes. Imaginative play. Kitchen's item, kitchen items being thrown about. 
Let's go to let's go to Evergreen Lane. And um Oh. We can Interesting. Fearless. Okay, let's uh experience kitchen items thrown about. Glimpse of a shadow in the corner. Violent choking sound and vanished. Yikes. Seen an average man, a man of average build suddenly. Footsteps coming from upstairs. Do the choking sounds and the imaginary friend. All right. So we have this information. What's in our junk mail? Nothing. Now let's go to the evergreen lane. Is evergreen lane. Where's my cursor? There it is. The Bluffs, Jefferson, Polk Street, Evergreen Lane. Right there. Do you want to investigate this location? Yes. You guys remember Evergreen Lane, right? What's going on, Kitty? Lacey M. Welcome, welcome. It's great it to have like you all the here. Family isn't worried about their safety. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal, I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. If I remember correctly, there was, um... There is... There's multiple ghosts that we can interact with. Oh, batteries? This must be where we can get our equipment and everything. Do I need to change out the batteries in this? We're going to do it just in case. Interesting. I wonder how we know that the batteries die. That's how we leave, I guess. Alright. Let's go investigate the, the property. There's a garage over there. All the lights are turned on. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and, um, lights off. Loud our EMF. Now, there's. Do I automatically take. Here's our notes temperature, data, EMF, audio. I don't have. I can't do temperature unless I freeze. I feel it, but I don't have a thermometer or thermostat I wonder if I had it back at the the home base and it just never saw it <laughs> all right I know that they throw st throw stuff around all the time outside and Is that a light on in a garage what's in the garage I don't remember having yeah I do remember the garage I don't remember this though I think this goes upstairs, but I can't get in there. Yeah, I remember the, uh, I do remember the bathroom. I remember the shadow man coming through here a lot. Little K 
kid runs through here. we get too far into the game i also want to chat out all the moms shout out all the moms in in the uh in chat and 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 watching a recording of this happy mother's day hope you hope you all had a great mother's day relaxing maybe spend time with your your children or your family in some way we're getting we're getting some emf it was actually popping up. Or how we know that the battery is running. something investigation in progress lost it lost it it was right here there it is we're back nope lost it again dang it I think the ghost runs through here, and it's like the little child ghost that runs through here. You have to get the get the EMF five while it's running through, even though you can't see it. it definitely runs through here. Whoa! Uh, very loud in my earballs there for a second. Uh, <laughs> Kenny, thank you so much for the uh, the member chat. It says don't get scared. It, it, look, I, they'll never get scared. Never scared. I'm trying to investigate ghosts. And keep in mind, if you're not already subscribe to the channel. If I hit, if I reach uh 15k subscribers. I'll go on my own little personal ghost hunt and investigation. As long as I'm allowed to live stream and record, I will. Yeah, if you guys want to see me go on my own personal IRL ghost hunt, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If I hit 15K, I will definitely do it. We're so close to getting EMF um, notes. There we go. His lights are there we acting go. funny. I should continue investigating. Okay. Got that. That's all that we have. Can't do anything with audio. Because I don't have any of the other equipment. Can't do anything with pictures or nothing. That's all I can do is, is EMF.
do I, is that all I can complete? And then I have to leave and maybe go and go and do something else. Like go back to the base, grab some more equipment. Yeah. Do I turn on the lights? Do the lights help? Catch evidence of the flickering. It's really bright in here. I don't remember it being this bright when we uh, played last time. Figuring out all these lights and turning all the lights on. Remember it being this bright at all. The EMF meter should not behave this way. Okay. This is paranormal. Definitely paranormal. What do we have in here? Based on how I am, uh, how and when I am seeing meters spike, I am convinced there is a paranormal activity here. That's really all I can get for this area, given the equipment that I have. I don't know. Not doing any more actual investigation. So I maybe I need to go back to the base. Maybe I didn't grab um. Maybe I didn't grab enough equipment from the base. Where the hell am I? Oh. Ghosts? Maybe I missed all the equipment at the base. Or maybe I have to buy it. I don't know. But I feel like I did as much as I can given the equipment that I have, right? Got some experience for the EMF. That's all I can do. That's all I have. I, I can't do temperatures. I can't do audio. I can't do pictures because I don't have that equipment. So I got eight experience. Put it in quick. Let's see if we can back alley card sharks. Any other equipment I can grab? There, there's none out. Nothing else here. No other equipment. Yeah. Batteries. But I think I maybe need to buy equipment. I don't see any other equipment. I'm not just missing it, right? It should probably be on that table. Did I get any money? Okay, so experience gives me credits. Got it. Laser pen. I need 125 credits? Sheesh. Well, wow, thermal device. Zero credits. Owned. Where? Because... <laughs> Digital recorder owned. Where? Cameras. I do need uh, auto camera. I do need to buy a camera apparently. But I have a digital camera. Where are they? I don't. I didn't see any. I didn't see any cameras. Where's all my equipment at? Where the heck is my equipment? It says I have it all. It says I have it owned. Oh, I don't want to do that. I actually want to go. No, I did. I said no. I want to resume. Audio. 
you already know about all that. Archives. Interesting. This is like the sale prices of, of the uh, of the house. Apartment inspections. Auction. These are all different things that I can potentially collect. Interesting. So there's definitely a lot of information in here. Modeling provokes activity. I need to figure out how to get my equipment, though. I don't know where any of my equipment is. I don't remember seeing it in my truck. Don't see it anywhere in here. I didn't lose my equipment, it just is missing. I don't know where it could be. I feel like it's supposed to be here, but it's not. It makes me wonder. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. I feel like it's supposed to be here somewhere, but it's not. Couldn't take it into the. I couldn't take it into the to the to the site. It says I own the equipment, but I can't find the equipment. Can't find it anywhere. Locations. Spirit guide. Yeah, we know about all this. have any audio though. Problem. EVP questions. Where are the EVP questions? I feel like I need to find this equipment and I don't know where it's at. Do you, what do you think, Chad? Do you, did anybody have any idea? Maybe it's a glitch since it's been an update. Maybe I gotta uninstall it and reinstall it just to get the work right. Possible. I feel like I should take more notes before heading out. Oh yeah. Let's start taking notes. Let's take notes. We're gonna take notes of the uh, evergreen 
take note of that. Um, inbox. I can do. Need to find my equipment. That's what I need. Okay, let's investigate it. I don't think it's going to work. Might be something that I have to uninstall and reinstall and start it, it all over. Like I have to start a new game. Safety. Maybe I can't continue. Although Maybe I got to start from like the very priest. beginning. That's a possibility too, right? You gotta start from the very beginning, start all, start completely over again. Because, oh, was it here the whole time? Did I just miss it? Oh, it just told me how to use it. And I didn't use any of it. There we go. Oh, we catching ghosts. Was it there the whole time, Chad? Did I just completely not see that the first time? What's going on, Matthew? We're out here uh, uh, investigating ghosts in Paranormal Private Investigator, Paranormal Conrad Stevenson's. Now that I have the actual equipment, I can, I'll can, i be able to do this. No problem now. Ghosts don't like lights. Pull out this. Get some Fahrenheit in here. Nice little shower. How do they keep the water from getting out over here? Oh, it's, there's a window there. I couldn't see that th from here. From here, I couldn't see the window. <laughs> this is a nice shower. Oh, getting cold. It's still kind of warm. Nothing paranormal though. about these temperature readings. Oh, nothing paranormal about it. Go down in the basement. Later. Upstairs. So the battery percentage there is add some. Battery percentage is in the in the top of the thermometer. I think we have a ton of batteries in the uh, truck. Bad thing is we'd have to go back out there and grab it. Here we go. It's getting cold. Back up, though. It's cold for a second. I know this is definitely a good area for ghost interaction. Suspicious indeed.
time, dude. He popped up. He popped up. What did he, what did he say? Did he say help me? He popped up right in my face. a bit more of our attention. Popped up right in my face. some EMF. Oh yeah. very loud how do I do the uh, ask questions I don't remember there we go is there anyone here who would like to speak with me is there anyone here who would like to speak with me Can you tell me your name? How's your name? Jam name. Can you tell me your name? Didn't scare me. It ain't nothing scare me. I'm not scared of somebody yelling help me in my ear. lights are acting funny uh, sure are. continue investigating oh yeah oh. the EMF meter should not behave this way this is paranormal that was good you got some good evidence there get any disembodied voices is there anything you'd like to tell me Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Why are you here? Why are you here? More hemp readings, maybe? Perfect spot. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Great. I hear that thing 
yell in your ear to help me. Here we go. This is definitely a different different cold spot. Something is going on here. Yes. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Definitely paranormal. You hear that? We've got ghosts. Talk to me. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me. Yeah, Conrad Stevenson's voice definitely sounds super chill. Just as chill as my voice whenever I'm hunting ghosts and collecting paranormal evidence. You know, we, we, we chill when it comes to that. We don't we don't get nervous. We don't get scared. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Hell yeah, that's great audio evidence. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Got more. Super eerie. I have obtained some audio evidence that cannot be explained. Can you get it to talk to me now, maybe? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Conrad is not TT's opposite. Conrad is TT. We are one and the same. Absolutely one and the same. We're super chill. No problem with ghosts. Oh, shit. I had a little arm muscle spasm there. Nothing nothing to be worried about. You know, just a little arm arm spasm. Got some good information. Got some good evidence. Photographs taken during the investigation display profound evidence of paranormal activity at this location. It says I have obtained some evidence. Audio evidence, so we want to try to find some more audio evidence, I think. More? I get any audio? You guys hear it, right? I hear it. I'm always cool, calm, and collected. Always cool, calm, and collected. Ghosts don't scare me. I'm not scared at all. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Can you tell me your name? Tell me your name. Try going upstairs. If there's anything going on at least. Do 
we're definitely getting a lot of evidence downstairs. you guys hearing what I'm hearing or do I need to turn the audio up for you guys I'm, I'm hearing a lot of weird things I don't know if you guys can hear them or not do you know why I'm here do you know why I'm here Turn it up a little bit for you. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Turn it up nice and loud for you guys. That way you can hear everything that I'm hearing. Like you can hear the creaking of the boards, right? When I'm walking. Hear that, right? Creaking of the boards. Oh, that was my stomach. <laughs> You don't hear like what sounds like wind wind chimes. You hear wind chimes like little things chiming around. Just me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? You heard the wind chimes as well. Okay. Now can that you it's tell up me high your name? enough, you can definitely hear what's going on good 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 that's all the stuff i was hearing i was hearing these like weird wind can chimes you tell me your stuff. name apparently all can hear it i had to turn things up I just need more audio evidence oh y'all heard that right Do you like the current family living here? I was just like, okay, that I heard. <laughs> Do you like the current family living here? Right, for me, it's like really loud in my, my headset. But I couldn't tell if you guys could hear it or not, but it's like very loud in my ears. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. I have no idea what that was. Like forks and stuff being thrown off the table, maybe? The thing is, I don't know where it's coming from. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is 
there anyone here who would like to speak with me? hear like the, the like ghostly whispers right do you hear all that or is it just me I'm hearing a lot of stuff I can't get it to talk to is you. there anything you'd like to tell me wishing win yeah okay so you're definitely hearing all the stuff that I'm hearing good 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 is there anything you'd like to tell me Upstairs. If there's anything up here. Maybe it's stuff up here that's flying around. moving around, but still creaks something else is walking. Oh! Help me! Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Right? Definitely heard that, right? Significant audio evidence of paranormal activity. I think we found enough evidence. I think we, uh, I think we head back to the base, get our experience points, and see what what we found. Now that I know how to get all of my equipment. That was a perfect run for us. Let's go to a new location, won't we? Or actually, let's find out some of the things we learned about this. We pick up anything new. I wonder how we figure this stuff out, these black spaces stuff that we have to find in the stuff that we have to find in the actual house maybe do have some audio recordings location evergreen we got four tracks skipping child when did we get skipping child Oh, that was that coughing you were mentioning. It's coughing that you that you said. Yeah. Skipping child. We 
didn't get any EV, EV questions or nothing. Not from there. Hmm. Let's go to Polk Street. We'll head, we'll head over to Polk Street crying in the living room. Someone talking to themselves in a laundry area. Uh, footsteps through the house. Seen a person shadowy creeping along the hallway. Boy in his room. Elderly man lingering in the kitchen. In the garage. Change in temperature. All good stuff. All very good stuff. Let's, um... All the stuff that we saw before. We're heading to Polk Street now. Make sure that we grab. Oh! There's all of our equipment! Perfect. Um. This and this. No, this in my first, my second and third slots. And then these in my fourth and fifth slots. Because my two and three are easier to, to hit right away. And um, with it being easier to hit, because recording and, and pictures, sometimes they need a. Uh, they need to, uh, they need, it needs to be quick with it, you know? Gotta be quick with it. Street's where the uh, future ex-wife ghost is. For all those that don't know, this is where I found my. The Lorenz have a first... bit of contrast within their family about their home being haunted. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. He also didn't provide any information stating he debunked their concerns. Sometimes skeptics just want to dispute everything. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. This is the uh, where we found our first ever future ghost, ghostly future ex-wife. Uh, Azrael, you have a great, great night. Sleep well. Glad you, you enjoyed the the game. I remember this. Oh, I remember it being really creepy in here. I mean, not creepy to the point that it's scary. Just, just remember it. I'm not scared. I don't definitely don't get scared. Oh, there are things that we can find throughout the house. An A, B, C. Oh, we got an F in mathematics in June. That's not good. Got an F in music in June too. He's got a lot of unsatisfactory grades. He, his effort, conduct, preparedness, like health habit, like they all declined in April and June. All of his grades declined. It looks like the further, the further, uh, further down the line, like the, the 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 later in the year, they all declined. Probably due to the ghost haunting them. So with that being said, we got to go find. Definitely want to find all of this stuff. Papers. Evidence.
down in the basement. Garage. There's anything out here? Stuff definitely gets thrown from the uh, shelves and everything there. Remember that. those grades. There's a piano for cello rent. Papers or nothing, though. Anything else to collect? Oh, collecting something now. Looks like this is a normal EMF reading. Oh, because I'm right here on this. Yeah, that makes sense. Does make sense. There's a picture of a ghost. Can't pick that up? Somebody drew that. Why won't they let me pick it up? Like, you can only take one picture at a time. You're not allowed to have this picture. picking up something these lights are acting funny I should continue investigating the EMF meter should not behave this way oh, yeah, this is paranormal yeah. can I get a cold temp reading Piano duel. <laughs> Piano duel. That's, you know what, IRL. That's probably the extent of my <laughs> pianoing. Is that, is that what you call it? You call it pianoing? Or do you call it just playing piano? Heard that. Did you all hear that?
quarter, though. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? You heard that, right? You heard the woman's voice? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Anything you'd like to tell me? Stop playing my piano. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to tell me? What's going on, Pat's turn? How you doing today, Pat's turn? That was what was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Yeah, because we're standing over top of a uh, vent. It's bound to happen. There we go. That's getting real cold. 45, 44. Hot. There we go. Hmm. These temp readings are unusual. Yeah, they are. Very unusual. to get active. Get real active. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I remember this being the hardest thing to gain as evidence was getting them to answer the questions that is I was trying to, tell, like to tell or trying to ask. I remember it being very difficult. Is there anything you'd like to tell me?
incredible. A photo of an entity. Right? Definitely got that one, didn't we? Keeping around that corner. <gasps> Never did that before. Never closed doors on us before. Huh. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Still only some audio. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Good marriage. Charles Allen and Deborah Tyler. So the ghost here is Deborah Tyler, maybe? This item is a valuable piece of information that will be added to the uh, archival database on the PC at your office. This is uh, uh, this item may also automatically unlock additional related archival information. While reviewing this article on your PC at the office, you may be able to take notes this item which could facilitate investigations Interesting. definitely have evidence right audio evidence not be explained some if some audio evidence we have a picture turn on the light What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. They turned the light back off. Missed it. Missed it. Only have night vision. The camera view. Did it just say leave? Oh. Hello? And you have a great rest of your night. Sleep well. Oh. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Is that I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Definitely walking further. Oh. 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 Oh.
lights on and off. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Nobody wants to talk to me. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Probably have more than enough evidence to get some good experience. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Got the audio evidence. Just enough of it. Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I think we got plenty enough evidence. I think. Significant audio evidence, photographs taken, EMF, definitely paranormal, temperature data, readings, definitely, yeah, yeah, we're, we're good. I think we have plenty enough evidence for some good experience. Very good. Perfect run on Polk Street. 108 total credits. 108 total experience. Do another one, chat. Go next. Church on Spruce. Jefferson Street. The bar. Arbor Lighthouse. I've never been to the Bar Arbor Lighthouse, so that could be interesting. I've never been there before. Here we show uh, shrills in the Hurley House. The shadowy, brisky, briskly moving about the lighthouse era. Barn at night. First claims paranormal activity. Elevated EMF in the bar. Or the barn, not the bar, but the barn. Lighthouse, right? Several deaths from 1837 to 51. Interesting. Okay. Let's go to the lighthouse. It should be, it should be good. It should be fun. Go ahead and grab all of our equipment. Need the, uh, that. 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 Here we have batteries. Perfect. And to the lighthouse we go. I would be better prepared with a few more notes. Yeah, I don't have any more notes. We're going to the lighthouse. I've never investigated a lighthouse before. This so this is. This is going to be new. This is going to be interesting.
Strange person. Welcome to the stream, strange person. This game. I first heard about this place when I was a kid. It's unbelievable. I'm actually here investigating. This lighthouse has been around for almost 200 years and has a history that aligns well with being a haunted location. I'd love to find evidence specifically identifying the spirits allegedly haunting here. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. This game, strange person, is called Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal P.I. We're out here hunting ghosts, um, identifying the ghosts. We're not necessarily identifying, but we're, we're, we're gaining evidence of ghosts' interaction. And I've never been to the lighthouse before. We, because it's, uh, it's, it, you know, when we, when we first started this game, it was like a year ago. And, um, we haven't been, we haven't played it since, but they've had plenty of new updates since then. And this is definitely one of them. This is, this is, uh, definitely a new location for us. Should be if we can find some EMF in the barn. Oh, there's a pig! You run around like a madman pig. Look at him go! Look at him go! Goats! <laughs> I'm so happy they bad. some paranormal something something another Here. Yeah. Ooh, is that another goat yeah. definitely getting some information these lights are acting funny yeah uh, they should are. continue investigating these lights are acting real funny The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Definitely paranormal. 100% paranormal. This is just normal temperature readings. Nothing to be... Looks like just about. a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Nothing paranormal. It's a sheep? Damn sheep. Maybe the pig was running around because the ghost was nearby and the and animals can sense when the ghost was nearby and that, that was when I started picking up EMF readings. Could be. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. I'm not getting any different readings. We got the EMF, so that's good. We'll uh go into this house. We gotta go into the lighthouse though eventually, right? Definitely want to go into the lighthouse. Office. This is roped off. Can't go back there. 
said, when you when you do your paranormal investigation of this place, do not go past ropes. Have them there for a reason. You're not allowed past the ropes, except for that rope. I'm allowed, I'm because that, that one's open, so I'm allowed. I'm allowed in the bed. I look for notes and stuff too. Some type of paper. in there. Go to should we just head straight to the lighthouse? The lighthouse is Found. It is. Oh, the lighthouse are, there it is. We're going to the lighthouse. This is a big map something over there too got playground we're going to the lighthouse we're gonna we're gonna make our way all the way to the lighthouse we're gonna even skip this house on the right hand side we're just gonna go straight to the lighthouse gotta be some some ghostly things in there right gotta be some of the paranormal in there it's connected we're gonna go past the creepy house and just go straight to the lighthouse. See if we can get inside. Oh, we gotta go through the creepy house. I knew that. I knew that. I just wanted to show you that that's what we had to do. You remember I messaged you on Instagram for your videos. Which uh which message was that, strange person? I mean uh, I do get messages quite often. Um, so I'm just curious, uh, what, what was your message about? I'm, I'm sure it was about one of the games that we These played. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Was it about orphans? Lighthouse. Yeah. It's definitely where we want to be. Alright. Oh. Yeah, let's turn it back on. Something laughed at me. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Caught it. I caught it just in time. To the lighthouse, all the way up to the top. Let's go. Do we climb up there? Oh, I don't think we can. It's as high as I can go, I can't get up there. Dang. Up to the lighthouse. Well, there is definitely paranormal stuff going on in here. There's that laugh down here at the bottom. So we will spend some time in here, see if we can come up with some more evidence. Even turn the lights off. <gasps> oh. 
Wow, I, I took a photo of a ghost. Sure did. Picture of the little boy. Little boy in a hat. Choo! Right when I turned the lights off, too. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Darkness, my old friend. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Come on, you know, you know, you know, the little ghost child wants to talk. Little ghost boy wants to talk. You know he does. Standing right here, right? Looking down. Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Tip out there, blowing its horn. The problem is that their reply is determined by whether they want to speak to you or not, not whether they can. True. And that's the problem. Like, I remember this being a being the most difficult thing. How many people um, are here other in, than in, me? When, when we first played it, I remember it being difficult to get the to get him to answer these questions. How many people are here other than me? Can you tell me your name? Let's just be can you tell me your name? <laughs> Introverted as hell. walk around his house. Right here. Oh, goes back outside. Ooh, a little outhouse. In case we need a pee-pee. In case we need to use it, we know where it's at. Oh, that's the temps. I don't think it's anything. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Nothing paranormal. We should go in this other house here. Find some. That chess board. You guys want to play chess? Ago, you messaged to use my videos, but then you didn't use them. Oh, <laughs> why not? 
why, 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 why not use them? You just decided that you no longer wanted to. Which which videos did you want to use? I'm curious. I don't I don't recall. I guess I you know it was a long time ago, so I don't remember exactly. piece of information or what though like what is it oh it says lily may a little crochet on there lily may but if we asked her what her name was she could say lily may probably not they probably won't talk to me nobody want to talk to me these temperature fluctuations appear to be normal of course they are why give me any kind of Kind of warm in here. 80 degrees almost. Too warm for me. That's something I should be allowed to pick up. Little soldier here, too. Little toy. I dropped six degrees right there. Sure that that's normal? So I turn in a corner and dropped like a lot. Almost ten degrees. Seventy nine to laughing. Can you tell me your name? What's going on, Steph? How are you doing, Steph? We we, we just Doing some Can more paranormal investigating. That's a big drop down to 30. Went from 79 to 30 something. Hmm. These temp readings are unusual. Unusual, my ass. That is a big dip. Huh. That's weird. It went from 80 degrees to 30 degrees. Wonder why. Unexplainable. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. You're wrong, Conrad. Massive drop in temp. I playing by myself. Yeah, this is uh, this is a single player paranormal investigating game. Uh, again, it's called a uh, Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. I I've played it in the past, but I haven't played it in a long time. So this is actually a new area that that we're in right now. It's called the Lighthouse, and we've never been here before. So I'm not entirely sure where I need to be or where I need to go to get information or evidence. I guess you should you could say. But this is definitely a spot for coldness. For it to drop to 30 something. 
this is what we got so far in our notes. We got some irregular cold spots for the temperature. We do have EMF, so based on how I'm seeing meter spikes, I'm convinced there's something paranormal activity going on. Uh, we do have some audio, I've obtained one piece of audio evidence that cannot be explained, and we have a definitive picture of a ghost. Have photos taken during the investigation display profound evidence of paranormal activity at this location. Grills in the Hurley house, shadows seem to be in a stairwell, seen in stairwell. Um, Keeper's quarters may be haunted. Elevated EMF in barn. Several deaths from 80, uh, 37 to 51. Nothing paranormal about these temperature oh, readings. Oh, bullshit. Something is going on here. There we go. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. There we go. Drop from 80 to 30, and there's nothing nothing abnormal about it. Just need to get some audio. That's all we really need. Let's go to the living quarters. They said that the living quarters might be haunted. But no, they said that there's shrills in here. Right? In the early house, there's shrills. in Hurley House. I think we're in the Hurley House. It's about time that Conrad realized the temperature was real. For real. I mean, it, 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 it's about time. It's about time he realized that those temperatures were not normal. These are bathrooms. Where are the living quarters? Are they way over there. I said the living quarters might be haunted, but there's also buildings way over there. Let's go exploring. I think this is definitely the living quarters. We were in here. We didn't hear or see anything. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? I want to see if I can jump off the lighthouse looking building. I couldn't get up there. I couldn't get all the way up to the top. Is there so anyone here who would off. like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? building inside in there no. No. let me in there that's sorry that's currently still in development Can we go in the playground? Like, can we climb up these stairs and stuff? No. No, we can't. 
the slide? No. That's a shame. play on the playground. How far does this go? Right to there. It goes right to here. <laughs> So there are buildings that we cannot access in of these and the, look like the visitor section that you're not, you're not allowed to access those. But why would they give me an option for interacting with those doors if I wasn't allowed to open them? Go back into the barn for a little bit. We can get some... Uh, Paranormal activity evidence. Goats, a pig, and some uh, sheep. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Oh yeah, strange. But I remember the I remember the Duskwood pictures or pictures, the videos, Duskwood videos. Yeah, you never you so you ended up never creating the uh, channel, huh? I think I vaguely remember uh, talking about that. If I can jump off into the water. I think there's a fence that goes all the way around, so I don't think I can be able to get in there. Looks like the fence goes all the way around, so I can't like go out to the pier or the dock or anything. Need more audio evidence, and then we can uh, head back to the base. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Which says, then again, if a neon mask assailant broke into my house, I wouldn't feel like talking too much either. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't break in. I was allowed I'm allowed to be in here. I was given permission. Said, sure, go ahead. Said, we want you to investigate. Said, we think it's haunted. Would like for you to find evidence of ghosts. It's a big map for a single player. For sure. Still need some more audio. I didn't turn this light on. The light's off. off. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Hey, what's going on, Bobby? Welcome to the stream. Just in some uh, 
Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal. Is AI. there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Wow, that sounded like a response. Yeah, it did. That is very interesting. That was a little bit of a uh, whisper there. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? You guys heard that, all right? You heard the whisper? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Why are you here? Why are you here? I do think we have plenty of evidence though now. And one EVP, the EVP clearly sounds like a voice responding to my question. I can tame some audio of evidence. It can't be explained. So maybe we still need a little bit more. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Talk to me. How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Wow, that sounded like a response. That said, is very now. interesting. Didn't, didn't sound like you really wanted to talk too much. Anybody want to talk to me? No, not now. As a matter of fact, I want you to leave, is what he said. Oh, I didn't see that the first time we walked in. July 23rd, my... What does that say? Something believes these keepers' quarters to be haunted. So... Uh, she is so anxious to be to be a I don't know new home I don't know what that says but it's good evidence for our wow that's great audio evidence definitely something definitely something Ghost wants to talk now. Like if I ask them if they'd like to talk, do you think they'd say yes now? Or do you think they'd tell me not, not now? Tell me to get out. How many people are here, other than me? Strange person, you have a great rest of your day. Or How many night. people are here? Thanks for joining. Other than me. Have a good one.
Appreciate you being here. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Do you think we have enough audio evidence? We can get, get out of here, head back to the base. Why are you here? Why are you here? Is this your home? Is this your home? Wow. That sounded like a response. That is yeah. very interesting. It was in decipher. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? We definitely have enough evidence, though. We're going to head back to the base and see what we found. that money get them credits that way we can buy more more uh gear i think we got a perfect score again yes csppi obtained conclusive evidence of the mentioned devices supporting the fact that this location is haunted. More investigations are required to determine the nature of the haunting and bring closure to the entity. Very good. Very good. Now, do we get, like, cool, like, information about these places now? We can we just decipher stuff? Like, this is Lily May sure Deidre may not be alone oh Deidre there's still a few more pages that we can find interesting this is definitely a much bigger game than when we first played it for sure a lot of information a lot of new things that we can we can find there is gear like we can buy this laser pen mounted on a miniature tripod which enables steady placement uh, on any surface the laser grid displays an array of green dots over a limited coverage distance the laser produces uh, quite a bit of energy and some investigators have mentioned that ghosts at time manipulate the device to facilitate manifestations. While technically not a ghost hunting device, investigators have been known to use the pen to supplement their investigations in very intuitive ways. Please refrain from pointing at the eyes as this could cause permanent visual damage. We already have the EMF, but there's an EMF Hot, so you can set it down and I guess put it in 360 degrees. Nice. Just makes it easier to do the ghost huntings, I'm guessing. Audio, like the parabolic mics? We don't have enough money for it or credits for it, but, you know, originally used as a spy tool or for bird watching, the microphone enhances sound from long distances. Our custom audio monitoring device features a parabolic sound dish, microphone, and a viewfinding monoc mon mon monocular mon monocle monocular monocular mono monocular <laughs> monocular <laughs> through the included high fidelity headphones. The investigator can hear a range of sounds at extended distances. 
unable at many distances, are usable at many dis distances, but more feasible for large locations. The microphone can capture ambient audio just as well as a plain audio recorder. This device is not suitable for electronic voice phenomenon sessions, so EVP. So you still need to bring in your other digital for EVP, but you can use this to hear ghosts. Oh, there's a pair of box and pair of box, pair of box and pair of box. Interesting. All cool new information or cool cool devices that we can use. And then there's some cameras here. Audio auto camera and digital camera. We own digital camera, but we can get an auto camera set it up set it and forget it remote capabilities oh this tells you a lot of stuff about the lighthouse Oh, the, the Hurley house. In there. Bat keepers. Coast guard ears. A lot of information here. Very cool. All right. What do you guys think of the new Conrad Stevenson's paranormal PI? got a lot more information in here it's got a lot more tools got a lot more stuff that we could potentially do if you guys want to see more conrad stevenson's paranormal pi be sure to hit that like button let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below if you want to see more of it let me know in the comments if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and join the tethered as i've said before if we reach 15,000 subscribers i will personally go on a ghost hunt myself irl and I will try to record or live stream as much of it as possible as long as I'm allowed to. So, if you want to see the bravest YouTuber out there go on their own ghost hunt, ghost investigation, paranormal investigation, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And join the Tether because that's what it's all really about. Having a great time, watching some gameplay, enjoying each other's company, being a part of a really good community. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.